How you doing, people? Hope you guys had a good week. Hope you guys hope you had a productive week. Hope you guys are doing a lot better than you have been. You gotta keep remaining positive throughout this this recovery, people. It's not gonna be easy at all, and you guys know this. I keep drilling this into your head. If you guys are new to having a stroke, or you know, if you guys just got affected by your stroke, start doing as much work as you can right now. If you watch my channel, if you want to get anything from watching my channel, do the work immediately. Start doing it, even if you don't got the power to do it. Figure out, get somebody to help you. Get a lot of people to help you. Get a gate belt. Get get whatever. Get anybody you can to just lend you a hand. Start doing as much as you can. Do as much as you can, even if you're five years into this, two years into this, do more than you ever have and do it safely, people. You gotta do this as safely as you can because you don't wanna injure your good body parts or your even your affected side. You wanna do this without any injuries, any more injuries that you're already trying to not occur. It's, it's a difficult road, people. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some on the ground stuff like some um, training just like some little obstacles. And just, we're gonna do those. The first thing we're gonna do first, make sure I ain't gonna step on my dog. We're gonna put our hands together, in position. Jesus, please look after me and my family. Look after my dog, Pee. Look after my, my friend, Veronica, out there in Arizona. Look after everybody that's going through recovery. Keep an eye on us to keep moving forward and give us the strength and ability to just do more than we ever have. Give us the power, the strength, the wisdom and show us that that we can do this and it is possible anything is possible people but you got to put the work in that's all there is to it the harder the, the more work you're going to put into this the more you can get out of this i'm going to drill this into your head like i do these same things over and over again people but you know what this is what it's going to take so if i sound like i'm just a one big rerun all the time but so it's going to take people so let's go ahead and do some stretching look at it's gonna take a lot of work, people. All right, let's do some toe testing real quick before we do any of the leg movement stuff. Get a stretch. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And today I had a, a doctor's appointment with the orthopedic, or the, yeah. So I had to get casted for a, a new brace. Instead of having these two braces I'm going to get, or have on right now, my knee brace and my, and my AFO brace, I'm going to get a, a K AFO brace, which is a knee orthopedic, or whatever. It's a K AFO brace. And I had to get casted. So I'm glad I took a good shower and I wasn't wearing my holy underwears. <laughs> I'm just joking. But I had to make, I'm glad I, I wasn't sure, I didn't even, wasn't even aware that they're gonna throw a cast on me because they're gonna actually do a real, a real good brace. A brace that's made just for me. Because the brace I wear right now, the AFO brace, it's a universal brace. I didn't know that. Well, I kind of did. But I just thought it was a little bit special, but it, Basically, when he told me that all that stuff, and that's why he doesn't articulate at the ankle. And the one I'm gonna get is gonna articulate at the knee, it's gonna be able to bend better. It's probably gonna be more of a pain ass to put on. And then I'm gonna, and it's gonna articulate at the ankle, which is gonna have that pivot point, which I need. So like if I wanna do other workouts at the gym, I can. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something new, but out of my comfort zone, but it doesn't matter, people. So let's go over here and do this. So basically we're gonna do step overs, okay? One, two, turn around. 
And we're going to go backwards on this. I've been practicing a lot too, people. I'm just going to do a couple of rounds of this because I already did something like this this morning, but I did a little bit different. Anyways, you guys know what you guys are supposed to do. These are all just little drills you need to start improvising, okay, people? So what we're going to do is we're going to do some other stuff for our balancing and stuff, people. Get this stuff out of the way so I don't trip on it. Sorry. Can you see? All right. So basically, we're going to lift our foot up. I'm going to lift up my back the same. Do it for 30 seconds at a time, okay, people? Pee wee, stop. Okay, now we're going to go to my effective rate. I'm going to put all the weight on my effective rate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You guys get the point about that. So you want to do three sets of each thing and do as many as you can, people. It's always good to get a good stretch out first, okay? Okay, you guys saw when I first did my little jump I did before, okay? And this is all part of the helping the equilibrium and your balance. Look it. I got a little bit off the ground. That's going to help with that, that balance point, people. It's working. Can I get very high? No, but I couldn't even do that before. I couldn't even I couldn't even jump off the ground like nothing. I felt like I was anchored down. So let's do one more set, okay? Like I said, do as many sets as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And now I'm putting all the weight on my effect to say one. And right now, what we're going to do is we're going to do some swinging back and forth. Hold on to something, though. Kick that leg out as best you can. Bring it back in. Kick it out. Hold it there. Bring it in. Hold it out. Bring it in. And you want to hold it as best you can. Straight leg that thing, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Do a couple sets of those. So on my effective weight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we'll do one more set, okay? And then we're gonna do some knee raises as well. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yes, it's getting a little bit warm. I thought the heat wave was over, but it's supposed to be 94, 96 degrees today, which ain't bad as it was. So, one, two, three. So let's go, instead of doing the backwards one, do sideways one, okay? Hold, hold up the leg. Basically, basically, it's like a dog peeing, okay? A male dog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Close it. 
Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Break it down. I'm going to do three sets of each one, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to go to the other leg. We're going to put all the weight on our effective leg, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Peewee, stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want to try all these new exercises, people? If you guys got other exercises that you guys are doing, let me know in the comments down below what, what's working for you guys. I've been just trying other little exercises, just trying to get my body to move in other directions because you want to get back to that being normal. You want to start getting back to the regular routines you used to have before you had a stroke. Sometimes doing these little things is going to help you to get better. Maybe, maybe not. But it's going to teach you to do things because you were, be able, you were used to be able to do these things. So if you can start applying things, start, just start doing other movements, but do it enough to it, it makes a difference. Okay, people? All right. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to keep it short today, people. It's getting hot. As you can tell, I'm starting to sweat. Have a good weekend. I'll see you guys Monday. I'm going to do a better, I'm going to write down a better routine. I'm going to come out with some better ideas and I'm going to put together, I'm going to watch some videos of other people's thing. Start using a little bit of their ideas and start improvising on my stuff, which helps me to get better. And hopefully it helps you guys as well. So have a good weekend. Talk to you guys Monday. Take care.